This is the truth about how you grow your YouTube channel from zero subscribers to 1,000 subscribers. You're gonna see so many videos out there and outlets telling you you're gonna have fast five tips to get there. Here's your do or don'ts to get there super fast. Here's some life hacks to grow your channel fast and make $2.1 million. Here's three quick and easy tips to make it super fast and easy. This is just straight up baloney. I can tell you from experience, growing a YouTube channel from zero to 1,000 subscribers or beyond is not quick, it's not easy, it's not fast, there's no hacks, there's no shortcuts. It requires hard work and it requires you to be smart and follow fundamental principles of what truly works on YouTube. I've been doing this for a living for seven years. I've made two personal channels with thousands of subscribers and millions of views. I've made media brand channels here with TGN, a million subs, 400K subs, 50K subs, etc. Built all these from scratch and it took years. It was hard. My team worked really hard and we failed a lot and we succeeded a lot and we built one of the biggest video networks in the world with broadband TV and it's taken years to learn what works and what doesn't and I've seen thousands of YouTubers that have grown from scratch to the big guys over the years and I am gonna bring you the fundamental principles in this video that are true and actually work. So if you want to see what the quick and easy tips are or generic advice is, go watch those other videos on YouTube. Go ahead. They'll tell you things like engage on socials and be sure to optimize and all those generic things. I'm going to tell you what the real deal is. Watch the whole video and I can, tr I can promise you that these fundamentals are absolutely true and will continue to be true in the long run if you're taking YouTube seriously. Let's start with the first step, learn from my mistakes. Check out my personal channel. I'll just use a personal channel example. Over the years on this channel, I've created content about Overwatch, about mobile games, about Pokemon Go, about Star Wars Force Arena, and it's just been all over the place. And my channel's been on, on Battlefront 2, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And my channel's been on a roller coaster over time. And I'm sure a lot of other YouTubers have been on this sort of roller coaster. And over time, it doesn't go all the way back. I've been at a half a million views a month, you know, 200K views a month or so, 100K. And as you can see, it's just this roller coaster of me making content about something I'm passionate about and then dropping off over time. Do not make the mistake that I have made with my channel. I thought that covering individual video games was the thing that would keep my interest and it turns out I'm interested in a video game for a few months and then I'm not. The thing that I'm interested in and I always have been for well the last seven years is helping people become successful on YouTube. So I've decided to make my channel about that now. It took me seven years to figure out what my YouTube channel should be about and what I can make content about in the long run. Here's the real deal. The thing that's gonna make you successful on YouTube isn't the thing with the most search results, the most popular thing, the thing that's gonna make you the most money. It's the thing that you truly love in your heart and you would make content about absolutely for free and with very little views. If you can find that, first things first, before you do anything else, that's what your YouTube channel should be about. Start there. That's what can work for you in the long run. Audiences know when you're genuine. Audiences know when you truly care. And that's why audiences come to YouTube, to find somebody who really truly loves something and shares that interest with them and they wanna watch you be real about it. That's the secret of YouTube before you do anything else. Trust me, it took me seven years to figure it out on my own personal avenue. Hopefully, it doesn't take you seven years to figure it out as well. The next step, once you figure it out, what's in your heart and what you would make content about absolutely for free, then do your research. The first thing you should start with is Google Trends. Google Trends is your best friend. It rhymes for a reason. Google Trends is your best friend. I just made that up, pretty good. So let's say you wanna make content about Fortnite, a video game. Okay, cool, you type in Fortnite right here. You make sure you select YouTube search, not web search. You need to know what's popular on YouTube. Let's say you like video game Overwatch, let's say you're playing that, and also you're playing um, PUBG. 
as well. These are just video games. For non-gaming channels, don't worry. It's the same for any topic. You just type it in here at the top, you select YouTube search, maybe you look at uh, maybe the past 90 days, and see how much interest is out there in the thing you're looking to make content about. Cool. Okay, here Fortnite's pretty popular. It looks like the other things are pretty popular. If I can do content about Fortnite, I will, just based on the numbers, right? Okay, let's dive in a little deeper. You need to see what countries people are watching this content in. Do they speak your language? That's a good thing to know before you make content about it. Then, let's say you dive in a little bit deeper. What are the trending items around these topics? Okay, there's a new map here, there's a new hero here, there's updates here, got it. Take a look and see what the top topics are about that. Okay, this can help you dive in and understand audience and understand perhaps what subtopics you could end up covering that maybe you could be successful with. With something like Fortnite, it's such a huge, huge topic that maybe you would want to dive into a subtopic a few pages deep. Maybe search term number 14 here would be something you'd want to look at. Let's go to YouTube itself. Let's search for Fortnite, right? Let's see what's going on. If you have a tool like uh, TubeBuddy Search Explorer, which by the way, I highly recommend TubeBuddy. I've got a link in the description below to my TubeBuddy affiliate link. If you click, enough of you click and download it, I get to use it for free. That would be amazing. But it tells you what your search volume is for that particular topic and what the competition is. And as you can see, something like Fortnite, just an example, millions of views with these videos, hundreds of thousands of views. There's a lot of competition. The big, big, big YouTubers are all covering this. Could you break through with this kind of competition? Probably not when you're starting out your YouTube channel. Probably not. But what if you went after one of those subterms within Fortnite, like Save the World Fortnite? Let's see if that, uh, which is just a different mode in this game, in case you're um, wondering. Let's type that in. Let's see if that's less competitive. It is way less competitive, but it's about the exact same video game. 69 score here. Competition's way lower. Search is way lower. And look at this. There's 2.8k views here, 9.2k views here, less than a thousand views here as the search term, as the top search results for this other mode in this game. That's an opportunity for you as a new YouTuber to break into this subtopic within this larger, more popular topic and break in there and get some views, okay? So use the TubeBuddy Search Explorer or Viso Catalyst for Chrome or VidIQ. There's other tools out there as well you can use and find out what the competition is, what the search volume is, and go after something that's maybe a subtopic within a much larger topic so you can break in there with far less competition because your channel has less trust and your channel has less minutes watched when you're getting in there. Start there and you won't be smashing your head against all of these giant YouTubers that are covering these big topics. All right, if there are YouTubers out there covering your topic that have gazillions of subscribers and just millions and millions of views and unbelievable amounts of minutes watched, it's gonna be so difficult, if not nearly impossible, for you to break into the game as a beginning YouTuber. Cool? That's the research phase. Next phase, you need to look at where are your traffic sources gonna be coming from off of YouTube. Okay, all of this research here is about how you're gonna get traffic on YouTube using the recommendation engine, which, re which represents the majority of traffic on YouTube. Well, but what about your off YouTube traffic? So many videos out there are going to tell you, promote on socials. <laughs> it's the worst advice ever. It is the worst advice ever. You can't just post your video on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever, and, tr and get traffic. You can't spam to Reddit and just get traffic magically. It's just such generic, terrible advice. Here's how you actually do it. This is something I did back in the day when it comes to getting external traffic, okay? Go find a website. Go find a community that maybe that is making uh, content, written content, whatever, about the thing that you're interested in making videos about, right? So back in the day, this was 2011, I, it was Star Wars The Old Republic. I went and found a website called torwars.com and I made a video about their website. I talked about why I thought it was great. I talked to, to my audience about how they should go look at this website. And I showed a genuinely interest in their website. And I made, at the time, a pretty well-produced video about their website. 
Then using that video about their website and about their articles and about their community, I reached out to that website and I said, look, I made a video about you guys. I love your website. I would love to work together with you and produce video content for your website. They bid on it onto it and they ended up uh, embedding my videos into their website that I produced with them. Here's another example of that. Uh, this was another website for Star Wars The Old Republic. I went to them, I'm like, look, you've got these great articles about Star Wars The Old Republic, but you don't make any videos. Can I make video versions of your articles? And then maybe you can embed my video into the articles on your website. I, show, I made an example first, then I reached out to them and said, look, I love your website, here's what I can do. I already made a video about your website. Let's talk about how we can partner with each other to make content together. So do you see the gigantic difference that there versus just spamming your content on the internet? People think I should just be able to post my videos and people should want to watch them. I can spam them in the comments here, spam them on Reddit there, just post them on socials and magically audience will happen. No, go find a community that's like you. Make content about them or with them and show them you have a genuine interest and you have skills that they don't have. Maybe you could make the video version of what they're doing for them. Then in a partnership with that community that you're truly looking to contribute to, then they can generate traffic for you and you can generate services and traffic back for them. Go find a partnership with the community. Don't just push your content onto some community or some avenue and expect to reap the rewards. This has to be mutually beneficial when it comes to external traffic sources. If it's not mutually beneficial, then don't expect to receive the benefit. Nobody's telling you that <laughs> on videos. You can't just spam and win. Spamming equals lose and wasting your time. Mutually beneficial community relationships is real community building. That's how you do it on YouTube. Okay, speaking of communities, don't join the wrong communities when you're trying to get started. Okay, here's an example of a good community. This is the YouTubers subreddit. It's moderated by real moderators. It's a genuinely helpful place that you can go as a new YouTuber to get advice. They have a collaboration thread. They have trip tips and tricks stuff. People review each other's videos. And as you can see, there's no drama here. Where's the drama? No drama. It's just people trying to help each other, people being positive, and people helping each other on Reddit become more successful on YouTube and doing their genuine best to help you succeed. Okay, there's gonna be other communities out there that are gonna be full of drama. They're gonna be talking about, uh, you know, how this YouTuber slighted that YouTuber, or this company's trying to take your money or this such and such thing is a total scam. If you see headlines like that in the community you're going to, forums, whatever, different accounts, whatever, different YouTubers you're trying to listen to, if they have any drama going on or any negativity going on, don't listen to them because they're just trying to sell that drama and that negativity to generate traffic for their community, their website, their channel. Don't be a part of that machine. Don't listen to those people. Go where there's positivity, go where there's structure, go where people are genuinely trying to help each other. That's what you need to be a part of. Those are the communities that you want to participate in. Trust me, the negative ones are gonna send you down the path of being a dead channel. The positive ones are gonna send you down the path of growth. I'm telling you, I've seen it so many times, good YouTubers getting caught up in YouTube drama and what have you, in Skype groups and on forums and what have you, and they ended up giving up because that negativity sapped their energy. Don't let that happen to you. I'm telling you, be around the right people and the positive people and you will grow as a result. I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference. It might sound arbitrary, trust me, it makes a huge difference. Speaking of which, I'm one of those people. I'm making basically no money making these videos right now. I'm doing it because I love it and I genuinely want to help you. So ask people like me who are willing to help you for free and who are an expert on YouTube for advice. Don't ask people that are trying to like sell you a book or trying to ask you for a fee for their advice right out the gate, all right? 
go to free resources first. And then if you wanna pay for professional consultation or you wanna pay for materials down the road, do that after you've already got traction on your channel. Go to the free resources first. Cool? You can ask me any of your questions on Twitter and I'm, even, I'm making videos about uh, what YouTubers want to know on my channel. As you can see, I've got a couple scheduled out here for YouTubers, free advice. If people are giving it out for free, then their intentions are probably pure, right? Cool. Try to steer clear of scams and try to steer clear of people that are asking you to pay maybe too much money for advice when you're getting started, when you're just trying to figure yourself out and what you're trying to make first. Figure out what you wanna do first, gets a little bit of traction out the gate, then look at maybe paying for services down the road. I hope that these tried and true fundamentals are going to help you, let's review. Step one, make content about something you're truly passionate about. I'm passionate about helping YouTubers, so that's what I'm making content about. Step two, research that thing, see if there's genuine interest, and try to find something that is low competition, but decent enough search on YouTube using tools like TubeBuddy, and then go after that right out the gate. That'll increase your chances of success. Step three, go find genuine communities and partnerships that you can participate in that you can generate external traffic off of YouTube back to you in exchange for you providing value to them. Very important. And step four, go find a positive community to be a part of, to support you, whether it's this, whether it's me, whether it's whoever that doesn't have any drama going on. Stay away from negativity. It will get, it'll, it, it could make you quit doing YouTube and you could have been a big success. Stay away from that negativity, be around that positivity. It'll feed your uh, desire to create content. I hope that helped. I genuinely hope that helped you guys. And if you want to get more advice from me, if you want to watch more videos about what the real deal is on YouTube, subscribe to my channel. Enable notifications. I'm going to be making content as often as possible. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Give me that encouragement, please, so I can continue to make content on YouTube because my views are very, very low right now. That encouragement would be good for me. So I could use some of that positivity from the community as well. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Andrew Wall. And guys, keep going. Go crush it. You can do it. Subscribe and enable notifications. Do it. See you in the next one. Adios, creators.